you guys. So in today's lesson, we are adjusting quotients. Now, what does that mean? Adjust essentially means to change number, and quotient is the answer to a division problem. So, um, now that we know that, basically what they want us to do is they want us to solve a division problem, but they want us to change the answer to help us find the answer. So let me show you what that means. This is the steps that you're going to do. So step one is you're going to round. Now you want to round to compatible numbers or fact families. So always focus on this, these first two digits here and change it into a hundreds number. So I'm going to do 140 and get rid of that 4. And then I have 14 and 16. So what's a number that's around 16 that would maybe be easier to divide with my 14? So think of fact families. 14 divided by what is a fact family? Well, 16 would round up to 20. And 14 and 2 are a fact family. So I round it up. So use your zeros trick. I can cross out the zeros to get my answer. 14 divided by 2 is 7. So now that we rounded, we know that the answer to this problem will be something around or close to 7. Because again, I rounded, and I rounded numbers that were compatible, so I could come up with an estimated guess. I'm saying that 144 divided by 16 might be something around 7. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that 7 and adjust it until we find the right answer to this original problem. So now we're going to take the original problem, so step 2, divide with rounded answer, and see what we get. So our rounded answer was 7. So I'm going to see if that works. I'm going to see if 144 divided by 16 is 7. And it will tell me how close I am and whether I need to go up or go down to find what this answer is. So if it's 7, notice I placed it up there as my quotient, as my answer, and now I'm going to solve. So if I'm dividing, remember our steps, does McDonald's sell burgers regularly? I just divided and now I need to multiply. So I need to multiply 16 times 7. 7 times 6 is 42. 7 times 1 is 7 plus 4 is 11. So I have 112. Now I subtract, and I have 32. Okay, so <clears throat> here's what we're going to do. Because 16 is way smaller than 32, my goal is to actually come out with a 0, right? Wouldn't I want this to be 0? Because right now my answer is 7 remainder 32, and that's not what I rounded. And because I have this huge amount left over, that tells me I need to change my 7 into an 8 and round up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to round up, and that's what I'm doing. I'm adjusting it. So I'm going to say, you know what, 7, I had a huge remainder. I want to get rid of a big remainder. If I have a big, big remainder, round your, uh, round your rounded answer up. So I'm going to see, maybe it's 8. So I'm going to do 144 divided by 16 and see if the answer comes out to 8. So now I need to solve. Okay, what is 16 times 8? Okay, so 8 times 6 is 48. 8 times 1 is 8. And 8 plus 4 is 12. So I have 128. Then I subtract. So 14 take away 8 <clears throat> is, well, let's see. Hmm. And if you don't know this on top of your head, let's remember our strategies. Well, I know that 14 minus 7 is 7, but I'm subtracting one more than 7. So that would be 6. So 14 minus 8 is 6. 13 take away 2 is 11. So <clears throat> I have 16 as my answer. So 16 and 16 are equal to each other, but if I did this and I continued, I would come out with the answer of 81. That's not what I wanted. Remember, my answer needs to be somewhere around 7. So be, if, you're, um, if, this, if your remainder comes out to be even, you need to continue going up. 
Okay, so now we're going to adjust 8, and we're going to go up and try 9. Let's see if it's 144 divided by 16, and let's see if 9 is the answer. So I need to multiply 16 times 9. Okay, so 9 times 6 is 54. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 5 is 14. Oh my gosh, look at that. And I have zero left over. So the answer to my problem is 9, and I figured that out by rounding and adjusting this quotient. All right, you guys, I hope that helps you. This is a pretty big skill to do, so it takes lots of practice, but just remember the steps. First, you're going to round to find a compatible number. You're going to see if that rounded answer works for the original problem. And if it doesn't, you're going to keep rounding up or down somewhere around that answer in, to, in order to find the answer. Okay? And that's called adjusting quotients.